serious storm brewing and getting ready to target the northeast, and we'll start seeing early evidence of that as early as Wednesday as we brace for the real impact for us towards the weekend. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Paul Williams, and you're watching AccuWeather, the world accuracy leader. As we go into Wednesday, uh, not as cold for us in D.C. and New York area because we'll have a bit of ridging that's happening with the jet stream valley region, and that's going to be basically an introduction to the snow that we're going to expect and anticipate to hit us over the weekend that could possibly bring up to even two feet, no kidding, two feet of snow in some areas. Now, we're going to see cold winds continuing to push in from the northwest, uh, but we'll have the flurries becoming more dominant for us over towards the Buffalo area. Lake effect snow began to kick in in there, as well as uh, in the Detroit area, down towards Indianapolis and throughout all of Ohio and all the way down towards uh, West Virginia. As far as through Wednesday night, large pressure difference, we'll see that low that was causing the winds to become so active. Well, that low is going to swing a little bit further out towards the northeast, and where you see the isobars, that's the difference of the measurement and uh, in pressure. Well, these bars are a little squished together, and so when they're a little more tighter, that tends to create more in the way of winds. But the high pressure system, which is over our immediate area, a little more loose with the bands. You see, they're not so tight. So the wind's not quite as active. Now, still active enough, by the way, for us to have 35 mile per hour winds. And we'll see the more active winds become actually more intense or higher velocity further north you go. You notice, once again, the tighter the isobars you see here, the more the winds will pick up momentum. The looser they are, the more the winds will kind of die down compared to what they were let's just say a little bit earlier uh, throughout Tuesday and going into the early part of the work week. Then we began to target what's happening with the snowstorm potential. Friday, we're looking for snow, snowstorm potential throughout Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, going into Maryland, as well as Pennsylvania, New York, and just about all of the Northeast, reaching up towards Boston for Saturday. Now, this is the Friday coverage area, and then we go into Saturday right up here towards Boston. So we're looking for a widespread accumulating snow to occur. Accumulations are expected. Boston, New York, Philadelphia, down towards D.C., up towards Pittsburgh as well. It will reach over towards Louisville as well. And then we're going to have a mix that's going to cover all of Tennessee, going into southern uh, Kentucky, and going into North Carolina, major travel delays and strong coastal winds.